this example, we're going to walk through creating a, a new quality inspection template and connecting it to a table that uh, is not out of the box and also using Power Automate to add a built-in action to any of those pages. So the very first thing we're going to do is we are going to make the test itself. So we're going to navigate to our quality inspection templates. We're going to create a new template. And we're going to call it uh, lot information, lot information example. Because we're going to be uh, passing this over basically to um, the lot information card. So what we're going to do is we're going to add on a field. So we're going to add a new field. And we're going to call this, uh, let's say, length. This will be a number. And uh, 1 to 100 will be allowed. And perhaps 1 to 30 is our pass condition. And then we'll add uh, width on there. Do the same thing. Perhaps we'll do 5 to 60 as our pass. And add on height. So we've added on height as a range of numbers. And we'll do the same thing. In height, we're actually going to allow all the way up to 99. Alright, so very simple test. Uh, we're just collecting length, width, and height with some pass conditions in there. Uh, pretty straightforward. All right. Now, in most scenarios, uh, the source configurations that come out of the box um, will work with your typical scenarios for receiving, um, uh, even some shipping and production. Now, if you want to connect a completely new um, uh, record, what we can do is we can still navigate to quality inspection, source configurations. All right, so we see here a list of a whole bunch of out-of-the-box um, connections. This is basically just telling the system um, what to map to, how, and all that. So in our example, we're actually going to bypass the document entirely, right? So when we create a test off of this, it's not going to relate to any document. It'll just be directly on the item and lot number. So to do that, we're just going to create a new uh, source configuration, and we're going to call this uh, lot information this lot information example. And our from table, we're going to choose the lot number information table. We're going to connect it up to the um, there we go. Uh, we're going to connect it up to a test. Oops. We're going to connect it up to a test and Inside of that test, uh, we're just going to basically map the fields that we know about, right? So our from field is going to be the item number. Uh, we also care about the variant code and the description. Now, you're going to notice that uh, you don't need to put in things like the document number because you don't have to have them. Um, so in our case, we're just going to map this to the source item, the source variant, and the source lot. So a scenario here would just basically be you're doing an ad hoc test and it's not really related to any particular process and instead you just want to have the test associated directly with the lot number and only the lot number, right, with no actual link to the document that might have triggered it. Um, all right, so we have created a lot of information, uh, we've chosen the from table, we've set the um, uh, target of a test, we're going to copy over some values. Uh, except I want lot number here, not that. And just for fun, we're also going to copy over description to description or to a custom field. There we go. All right, now you can also copy over custom values. So for example, we could also copy over uh, perhaps the test quality. So this is a built-in business central flag. And uh, in that test quality, we could just map that over to any of those uh, special fields that we have. Now, if you're using any of these source custom one, two, three, how it'll work is it'll grab the caption from that field. So for example, if we put in test quality here, 
uh, it would display as test quality. We can also copy it again, so let's copy the exact same field, test quality again. Uh, we're going to call it, stick it in, source custom 3. And then just to um, give an example of how you can change it, what we're going to do is, with that exact same field, uh, we're just going to call this um, example caption. All right. Okay, so now we have a source configuration. Uh, it's ready to go for lot number information. And now the question is, how do you actually get it to uh, create that test um, automatically or create the test manually? Right? And this is where Power Automate comes into play. So let's go through the manual example. So we're going to navigate to the lot number information list. And let's say that it was uh, this page that we wanted to have uh, the test on. Actually, let's maybe do the card instead here. So let's just say that we want to have this uh, good. Uh, we're going to call this example description just so that we see um, a description that gets copied over. And uh, we want to uh, create an action on here to create that test. So we're going to go to Power Automate, create a flow. All right, I'm going to be switching to my uh, development environment. We're going to be going to examples. And in this case here, so we're going to use the business central nomenclature of the page and the number. I'm just going to quickly grab that from the URL here. So we're going to jam this into the page there. All right, so for our selected record, um, what we're going to do is then uh, create a test. So now we're going to head to Business Central. We're going to find the run in action. And in that action, so let's change to our Insight Works quality inspection. Um, and then the action name. Uh, and now we can see all the actions that are available. So these are effectively all the dispositions that we can do through Power Automate uh, in this context, right? So you can, you know, assign it, you can block it, block the lock, create a retest, etc. Um, you know, reopen a test, move inventory, things like that. So one thing that we could do is we could just say, well, let's just create it, uh, the test from the record. And this would effectively be the whatever uh, the system ID is of that record, right? So we're going to put that in there, and then the table uh, name is lot number information. Now you could also just put in the table number um, as well, so that would also work. Uh, and you can grab that just by inspecting uh, the page itself, and then you can see that it is the uh, table number 6505, much like the card. So both, both will work, the name or the number. All right, and we'll give this a name, uh, create test on lot number. All right. So we have saved that um, uh, uh, Power Automate action. So this will be a manual action for that selected record. And we're basically saying on this page specifically, you can make it run anywhere. Um, if you actually just wanted to have that Create a test from anywhere, you could definitely do that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's all you really need to, to stick it in here. Now, something else that you could consider is instead of, um, like if you just want to have this on, say, like any page at all, uh, you could also just remove this since this is optional. And where it says the uh, table ID, you can also just pass in uh, the table ID as a parameter. So for example, we just put in the table ID here. And then it'll effectively be the table ID for whatever record you've selected, right? Now, at this point, you're going to notice we haven't specified the template. We haven't um, specified any other criteria to use. All we're telling the system is go create a test from this record, right? So to do that, uh, what we need to do is we need to tell the system uh, exactly which test to use and when. So that would be the generation rule. So there's two ways to get there. Um, one way is just through the quality inspection templates. So let's go find that template and uh, click on the test generation rules. And we're basically saying um, you can do this on the lot number information un under no circumstances, right? So this would be if you wanted to only have um, this particular test created when, you know, maybe the test quality is bad or something of that nature, uh, then you could add that condition in here. 
we're basically just going to say there, there is no condition. So you press the button, it'll make a test. Okay, so uh, to summarize, we have a quality inspection template um, that has our fields uh, that we want to collect uh, inside of that quality inspection template. Um, or sorry, associated with that, we have a test generation rule to the lot number information. Um, this lot number information is available because we told the system what to do with that record. And if we navigate to the source configuration, uh, we should be able to see oops, slot. Uh, we should be able to see our example. And in our example, all we're really doing is we're just saying what field maps to what on the test. Right, so lot number information is pretty simple. And again, this is an example without a document. So if you're doing this with a document number, uh, you would definitely add in uh, your field that are that is related to the document number, and then you would choose, um, you know, the appropriate field. So if, I'll just choose an example here. So let's say that you want to comment to map to, well, let's say, uh, let's choose, say certificate number. So let's say certificate number mapped over to an actual document. Um, then you could connect that into the source document number there. Okay. All right. Um, and that is it. So now if we have a lot number information, we should be able to see a uh, action in that card. So let's navigate to our lot number information list. Uh, we will find our example here. And we should see now in the automate, um, this create test on lot number, right? And that's from Power Automate. So we're going to click that. It's going to create that lot number. Okay, and it'll ask us to continue. We choose to continue, and we choose to run the flow. Now, if you're really curious, uh, you can click on the flow runs page, and it'll let you know whether or not it passed or failed. Um, but in this case, we can see that it called back into Business Central, and it took less than a second. Okay. So let's navigate to our tests and let's see what that did. All right, so we can see our test has been created. Uh, we can see it used the template code of lot number information and we can see how all of those fields map. So there's the item number, there's the lot number, and there's our length, width, and height. So just in a few minutes here, um, we created a configuration that told the system how to map the fields inside of here. And also, uh, we told the um, we also told the system uh, how to create the test manually uh, through through Power Up. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.